So it's Sunday, December 17th, a week before Christmas Eve, and I've got a bit of a thrift haul to share with you. I could, actually, I could probably do three different parts of a thrift haul with all the thrifting I've been doing this week. A lot of it's been Christmas items, which have been dirt cheap. Um, but let's start down here. I've got some ornaments. Some of these on here need repair. And, you know, I think most people would generally just chuck these kinds of things out, but um, this is a partridge in a pear tree. And I, I think I have to glue his little, I think his leaf goes on like that. And there's a little finny and stuff, so I'm going to take a look at doing that. And I found a set of three Department 56 shoes but the heels broke off of, of the final shoe. So I'm gonna see if I can glue that back on. And this cutie, it's a little mouse and cat calling Santa. And there's a little piece broken off that, a little handle off the phone. I'm gonna see if I can glue that on. So let's move on to some vintage stuff. I don't even know what to say about these, but th they're so cute and just tragically ugly in some cases. <laughs> but uh, I think I think they're worth hanging on to for a little while anyway. Look at his little tree. And these dis terrible, disgusting little plastic candy canes. And this tiny little thing, it's a itty bitty pine cone with a little angel head on it. This one, I don't know, I think it's plastic or some kind of plastic, but look at the finial on it. It's, it's really lovely and I've never seen anything quite like it. Uh, I'm going to hang on to it and see if I can learn more about it. Okay, so that's the little stuff here. I got a bunch of these little bells. They're all on pipe cleaners. I'm thinking these are, I don't know, 1950s maybe. And these little bells, they don't have clangers in them, but I've got four of those. Well, that one's got a clanger. They're all on thread. Cute. I picked up these plastic electric candles yesterday. I've been finding these around, um, not finding the bulbs. These ones have bulbs. I haven't tested them yet, but I'll give it a shot. I like that they each have a different uh, plastic corsage on them. This this holly shaped sleigh I got some time ago, but I got a bag full of these tiny wrapped presents. I thought they looked kind of cute and in a sleigh. I got this giant jar. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to fill it with. It's probably a gallon anyway. Um, like I've said before, I have uh, a weakness for cookie cutters. So I got these for dollar yesterday. Well, that's an interesting tree. Usually the trees are a lot more, um, well, fewer angles, let's say. And there's Santa. Well, even he's got some more. You can see his little nose. He's got some more detail than one would usually see. And there's Belle. And there's Santa's sleigh and a gingerbread man. Now, my husband would say Satin balls are not vintage, but look at these. They're the packaging is old. They're on a pipe cleaner. I think somebody was trying to sell these for two dollars a pop. I certainly didn't pay that much for them. I got three packages of those. Oh, Santa! I got this Santa yesterday for my husband. Uh, at Value Village. There was a set of four 
but I only took this one because he has a guitar and I thought my husband would really enjoy that and as I was checking out the clerk said oh that's vintage and I thought hmm I think it's just nicotine so I brought him home and I scrubbed him up anyway and he looks kind of cute I found a bag of ornaments that have sequins I remember this being a project in the 70s I think a lot of people made these um, there's three different ones and I I just really enjoy them. This one's got a little pin on the top. I really enjoy them, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on to them. This angel I got a couple weeks ago, I guess now. Um, she's made for Kresge's, which is an old department store. I have no memory of being in the Kresge's. I know my grandmother worked at Kresge's and my mother worked at Kresge's when she was uh, in high school. And my mother's now 80. So I think she's probably mid-century. Found this ceramic tree with the lights. Um, the star's broken off on the top and there's a little plastic bag with the missing bulbs attached. I have been seeing these around. In fact, people are asking for them on like Facebook Marketplace. And I saw a couple in um, the auction cupboard at uh, St. Vinny's last week. And I went to bid on one, but the highest bid was $79. I thought, no, I'm not paying $79. Anyway, so I'm going to see if I can scrub this up and make it work again. I found these brush trees in a bag of stuff. I don't know how old they are, but I like these ones. The, the really loose pine, I guess, with the snow. They look like oh, they've had some wind. <laughs> this one, it's, got, it's a little squished. We'll see what we can do to fix him up. So this big piece here, there's no markings on it. I love the big glass cloche and the cardinals. The cardinals have a little bit of green and red holly on them. The cardinal piece itself isn't very heavy. The cloche and the pedestal is quite heavy. Uh, the pedestal's uh, pottery, but again, I can't find any marking. This was uh, marked at $7 at Missions Thrift, but just about everything was half price. So, um, yeah, got it for $3.50. I'm pretty happy with that. Even if I ditch the birds or paint the base, I'm sure I can find something really useful to make out of this. There's a couple more other vintage Santas. This one's plastic. Uh... There's no markings on it. Oh, wait a second, there is a marking. What does that say? Made in Hong Kong. I don't know anything about it. He's got a, a hanging thread, so he could hang as an ornament on a tree, but other than that, I don't know anything about it. Here's Santa. He's, I don't think he's really aged. He looks pretty clean. Uh, but he was imported for Woolworth. And again, I haven't been to a Woolworth in maybe since I was 11 or 12. So that's, that's getting some age. Here's another Santa. He kind of looks like one of the seven dwarves. And he also looks like he's hitchhiking. No markings. Um... I'm not sure that that wreath goes with him. It doesn't it doesn't really look like it's the same kind of plastic, but it works, so I think it's one of the seven dwarfs dressed up with Santa because that's clearly a fake beard. Alright. And here's this little disco Santa. I don't know what he's been up to. Shaking his groove thing, clearly. 
Now let's move over here. I got the a set of these three bells. They're made in Japan. They're they're plastic, like a white plastic and a pipe cleaner wrapped around it. They're all the same. Uh, these are reflectors for for lights. I don't see these often. These are reflectors for lights too. I got a set of three. They're all identical. They're very light plastic. And here's the hole where you would stick the light up in it. If anybody knows anything about that, I'd be interested in hearing more. I also got a bunch of these tin, punch tin reflectors. Uh, there's some star shaped, some colored, colored ones, some more snowflakey shapes. Um, these have got to be, I don't know, 1930s. They've got to have some age. I wouldn't say they. I think they're probably pre-World War II. I'm not sure. And these are reflectors I've never seen before. They're they're plastic. Um, and the little mini lights go inside them. And then there's holes in the sides to let the heat escape. I've got, I don't know, a dozen in there. And I think... Maybe that's it. Oh, here's some more things. I think these are also reflectors that go on to lights. Uh, they would go on bigger bulbs. There's, this one's a little melty, so that's what makes me think it's it's a reflector for a light. And so it's sort of supposed to look like a bell, I guess. Most of them are red. That one looks like it's got broken glass in it or something. <laughs> Anyway, so I got quite a collection of different uh, Christmas light. All right, on to the milk glass. I got three, you know, pretty standard pieces of milk glass. Not something I have right now, but definitely something I've seen in the past. But this, this is my find of the week. It is quite a chunk of glass. It is heavy. It's not marked. Well, maybe it is marked. It has a W and a C. I'll have to look that up. Um, so I saw this at the Salvation Army, and it was marked six ninety nine for the set. So I asked one of the staff that was working there, I can't find the creamer that goes with this. Can you reprice it? And figuring that she'd bring it back to me at 3 or $4, and quite happy to pay 3 or $4, she came back to me with $1.49. So I'm pretty tickled about that. It's got uh, grapes and leaves, and it's, I bet you it weighs two pounds. It's huge. Well, it's not huge. It's little, but it's so super heavy. Once again, I have found some transferware that I have a weakness for. If you find me some vintage transferware or some cookie cutters, just take my money. Take my money. This is a little flat demi tasse. It's from a pattern called Tally Ho. It's English. Um, the other dinner pieces, they have different hunting scenes, fox hunting scenes. This is, I haven't had a chance to look this up yet. I believe it's a handleless mug. It's um, Copeland Spode. I'm crazy about the blue color of the china and of course the transfer, Eng a very English looking country scene. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research about that. And these are Royal Tudor Ware, also English little pink cottage scene. The name Richmond on there, I think that just refers to the shape of the cup, not really the pattern. So I don't know what the name of this pattern is. Look at this couple, they're going out, they're going out on a date. 
And there's Stalker behind them. He's super jealous. They better get a restraining order. I'm gonna have to get up to show you these ones. Again, some more English transfer wear. This one is um, it's um, scenes after Constable. So this is referring to uh, British Romantic artist John Constable. I got three of these plates. They're all identical. And underneath, oh, where do I put this? Underneath I got um, two of these. Let's see. And this is by appointment of Her Majesty the Queen. Cotswold. I'll have to look that up too. Again, another English country scene with houses and little babbling brook. Something. Got a whole bag of these bail wire sealer tops. Um, quite a few different ones. There's actually a crown one in here, a blue crown, I think. I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. So there's the crown. Maybe that shows it better. Yeah. Um, I think there's probably 10 of them in here. Uh, they were $1.50. Not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I'm sure I'm going to come upon some antique jars that need lids. This needs a little bit of research as well. This is an old wooden toy. Probably was for a preschool or kindergarten or something. And the idea was to teach children how to tie their shoes. There's also some cutouts, so I'm guessing there were some blocks that went with this as well. That, uh, that shoelace is pretty gnarly, so I'll have to replace that, clean her up a bit. Anyway, I thought it was very interesting. Again, it's a, a heavy piece. And just for fun, I got this whole flower sifter. And here's another purchase I was pretty happy about. This is a 1950s uh, U.S. pattern from Steubenville Potteries, which was located in Ohio. I, I'm really digging these retro colors, the pink and gray and uh, aqua blue, a little bit of yellow in there. Um, here's the mark on it. I've seen this around. I'm guessing, you know, this was a pretty popular China pattern back in the 1950s and people are getting rid of this stuff now. So I, I've seen it. Um, I have to get more. I'm just really in love with this. And uh, one thing I have to keep in mind is that some of the pieces are just the aqua blue color. So I got these 25 pieces all together yesterday at Value Village for $14.99. And it came with uh, seven teacups, but no saucers. So I did a little research. Is that a chip? I'm going to be mad if that's a chip. Nope, it's just a stain. Get my uh, Mr. Clean out, get that scrubbed up. Um, did a little research this morning and the saucers for these cups are just the aqua blue. So I'm going to go back to that Value Village today and have another look and see if I can find the saucers that go with this, this teacup. The uh, coffee pot, teapot, sugar bowl, that kind of thing. Their lids are also just blue, so I'm going to have to pay attention. Um, I really like this. I guess it's a soup plate, but I think it's a nice size for a salad. Anyway, so that's my thrift haul for, or maybe part one of three thrift hauls for this week. Um, 
again. Ooh, I forgot to show you this. I got a piece of ironstone. This was really super gross. Um, it was almost mustard colored when I picked it up and I turned it over and it said heirloom ironstone. So I just kind of licked my thumb and wiped my thumb on it and it was nicotine. So I knew that that would clean up nice and it did. So it's had a, it's had a scrubby and it's beautiful and is going to go into my collection. And I paid, can you believe I paid $5 for that? I can't believe I paid $5 for that either, but yeah, yeah, it is what it is. I love it. And this is an Adams piece. It says real English ironstone. I wonder what Microtex means. Maybe it has powers of some kind. Anyway, it's very elegant. I'm sure at one point it did have a lid, but the lid is gone. I paid a whole dollar for that. So there, now that's the end of my thrift thrift haul for this week, or, or part one of part three. I uh, hope you had some good thrifting this week too. And uh, I'll be back to show you some of the vintage Christmas, other Christmas vintage items that I picked up. See you later.